Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joey Troy here. Um, I've been away for a while, just really busy with work and haven't had a chance to post online. Um, today, I've got a quick short video uh, to put together for you and also a walkthrough that'll be down in the description uh, with more details on how to do everything. But essentially, um, a user on... Um, God, see, I'm out of it, man. <laughs> A user on Cloudy Nights, uh, iSky1, uh, reached out to me and asked me to see if I could get StellarMate working on the ASI Air Plus Raspberry Pi version. Um, so I, he asked me to do this uh, a while back, I think like February, it's like June now, but I finally had time to sit down and play with it. Um, the, the problem is the StellarMate has moved to a 64-bit version of the operating system. Uh, right now, as it stands, ZWO is still using a 32-bit OS, even with all their new um, all their new units that they've been putting out, the ASI Air Plus, with the new chipset, the Rock chip, and the Mini, and then whatever their new one is. I forget what it's called now, but it's like the ASI Air Plus Plus. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Anyways, um, I've got the ASI Air Plus Raspberry Pi. I had to crack open the case and take out the board and do some stuff with it and get everything working, but uh, essentially it's all up and running now uh, using a 64-bit kernel and also a new firmware for the USB drivers. So uh, USB, U, or uh, I'm sorry, ZWO used a, I, I can't remember the company, Renaissance, Renaissance USB chipset or something for this. It's a terrible driver from uh, everything I've seen online. Um, and they only built it with a 32-bit driver. So it took me a while to find the 64-bit firmware driver uh, I was trying to compile it from source code, but it just wasn't flying. So uh, I finally found the actual mem file uh, that I could load in there. So uh, I've got some instructions. And uh, anyways, without further ado, here's the video. Okay, so in my last video set, I showed using the ZWO, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I showed using the Raspberry Pi uh, IO board to do all the loading and stuff like that. But actually, thanks to one of the users, and his name is here from YouTube, he showed me how you can actually use the stock, um, the stock ZWO board with leaving uh, your Raspberry Pi in here. Um, so, Essentially, all you need is a standard USB, like the old school USB connector, um, to a C, and you need a magic paperclip. So with the paperclip, um, essentially, I'm, I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit. Uh, I'm not very pleased with the uh, lack of zoom feature that I get from this, uh, what the heck is this thing, the GoPro. But right next to the board, there's two dots. And this may help. Uh, there's, if you can read it, and I don't know if, if I can get in too close without it blurring out, but it basically says H boot on the board and there's two, two dots in there. All you need to do is uh, basically bend a paper clip into a U and then put it in those, those two little dots. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Bear with me. There you go. And the second one, sorry. Again, I'm trying to do this all with one hand. So essentially, I just push it through a little bit so you can see the, the pins coming through on the, on the back side. Uh, and then essentially at this point, we just need to um, hook up uh, the USB cable uh, to our computer and then plug it into the C port and then uh, just get our regular 12 volt power, plug this in and then um, flip the power switch. Be careful with the power switch. Um, it's It's got two uh, basically solder joints in the back and I accidentally pushed on it earlier and I almost bent it off the board which freaked me out for a second but everything's good. Uh, just be careful with it that you uh, that you're careful with the power because again it's just uh, it's got two little uh, metal pins on the board that have got it connected up so uh, again we'll hook this up to our computer turn on the power and then we just need to run our RPI boot uh, to basically boot it up. So, um, so let's go ahead and continue with that. 
Okay, so I have everything hooked up at this point going into my PC. I've got the power. Uh, we've got our awesome USB or our, our uh, paperclip jumper, excuse me. Um, so essentially at this point, I'm just going to turn on the board. And if you notice on the bottom, it's red. And then on my PC, uh, I've got the RPI boot program already running. And as you see, it just turned green, uh, which is telling me that it, it connected to the disk. So at this point, um, I'm just going to go ahead and load, um, uh, basically run uh, installing StellarMate onto the board using the new 64-bit that they have. Uh, and essentially, we'll get that installed. And uh, I'll show you how to get it all working uh, with the Raspberry Pi. So at this point, I've essentially downloaded the StellarMate OS um, as the time of making this video on June 11th of 2023. Uh, the current version is 1.77. So with the Raspberry Pi turned on, I'm just going to essentially select the storage as the Raspberry Pi, and then I'm going to go ahead and write the image. So again, this is much easier because you don't need to use the dev board uh, to be able to uh, at least reload the operating system on the, the ZWO um, of course, my recommendation would always be to back up your board, make sure that you've got all the backups done. Uh, for me, I have a dev board, so it doesn't matter. I can just play around as much as I want, and that's why I bought a secondary board, because I don't want to mess with the stock board, um, and I can just play around with the secondary board. So I'll let this write. Uh, it's going to take probably about 20, 30 minutes to write. Uh, it's, it's a slow transfer, um, which is normal uh, when writing to these uh, Raspberry Pis. So uh, I'll just go ahead and continue on with the video. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's basically getting the board all set up and loaded. Again, look at the description down below. It's got more details. Uh, essentially, you're gonna need uh, to make some changes to the config file on the device, which I have listed in the instructions. And then also you're gonna need to download a kernel. You're gonna have to make some changes to the config. You're gonna have to recompile the, uh, the kernel and then copy all the kernel settings to the, the operating system. And then once that's completed, the last thing that you'll need to do is um, copy over the mem file, which is for the Renaissance USB. At that point, <laughs> when it's all said and done, and it takes a while to compile the kernel, so be patient. Uh, it takes probably about two hours or so. And make sure that your ZWO board is back in, in the case. Um, I was running it outside the case, and the CPU was up to about 183 degrees. So <laughs> probably not ideal. Uh, but it was still building. It was just really, really slow. So it takes time to do it. Um, so again, have patience with it. But when it's all said and done, um, StellarMate will work. And also uh, the USB uh, the USB uh, ports will also work as well, the USB 3 and the USB 2. Uh, and everything else seems to be okay from what I could tell uh, from my testing. So uh, with that, I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, take care. We'll see you later, YouTube.